the answer to this is very simple. The answer is yes, and for the following reasons. If you look at the land area, Somalia enjoys a big chunk of land area that's suitable for agriculture. In South Central Somalia, there are two rivers, which is mainly called the Juba River and Shevele River, that provide irrigation to a big chunk of land. And now, if you look at the environmental condition of Somalia, it's an area which is suitable for whole year round of crop production. Unlike other areas where you farm only for one season, here you have four seasons, all four seasons are suitable for agriculture production throughout the year. And the annual rainfall in South Central Somalia exceeds 500 millimeters per year. If it's used and tapped into these resources properly, there will not be any problem at all. In addition to this, we're talking about the fishery sector, as well as the livestock sector, which provide an immense food uh, uh, availability in the country. Now, if you look at the production level in Somalia, and this is according to the figures that's provided by FSNU and FAO Somalia, the production level is 250,000 tons per year. This is an average production, but the requirement in the country is double than that. Now, the production per unit area for maize in Somalia is only one ton per hectare, whereas the potential for the production of maize per hectare is from 10 to 15 tons per hectare. Now there is a big difference in this. And in fact, uh, as Saj, so we have worked in South Central Somalia for the last two years. We worked closely with the farmers, over 3,000 farmers. We conducted demonstration plots to show the farmers the best production practices in maize. And this have resulted into uh, three, four, five times yield increase. Now, if we just look into this and predict what the future can bring, like if you increase the production from one ton to five tons, that means you are going from uh, 250,000 to almost over one million tons per year. And now we said that the country requirement is double than what is currently produced. And let's say that the country requirement is 500,000. So the addition of the production, where would it go? With, with the analysis and with the figures that we have at the moment, it shows us very clearly that Somalia can not only feed itself, but can also become an exporter of a crop in the outside world.